God. So very interesting. I'll leave it to some audience questions. So as a as a VC, I would be curious to learn what you know. What was the best advice you got from a VC, mm -hmm. um, and and why, you know, and, and you know, and, um, sure. and sort of, uh, you know, how did it change throughout the different fundraising that you went through? Mm -hmm. So uh, the very first round I was raising, I think the the best advice I all I found at that time was. Uh, so I was still in my job, my previous job before that, and I was pitching to VCs, and one of the VCs told me, like, why are you, do you believe in what you're pitching? I said, yes, I do believe in it. So, so why are you still in your job? And I was like, oh, that's a good question. I didn't have an answer for it. <laughs> and so the next, next day I quit. Like, it's like his, his, his question was simple. Like, do you, if, you're, if you don't believe in it enough to quit your job, then how do you expect me to, to put a, write a check to you? So it's a valid question. Like, you know, if I had like a, you know, say a family personal situation to to counter that. Hey, I can't quit my job because I have you know my family to support here. I didn't have that. You know, I was like, a, it's, I couldn't I couldn't just make that up, right? So I quit the job next day and started working on it full time, which was a great advice to me. It's like you know, you, you got to commit to something. Uh, that's 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 definitely one uh, the one there. I think as you go through multiple stages of fundraising, right? You do. Um, I would say in the earlier years, the the VCs will normally help you with, uh, you need a lot of learning to just get off the ground. Just the basics of running a business. It's, it's pretty easy to figure out, but it still takes time to figure out. Like, you know, how do you, when you hire your first, you know, salesperson, what should you pay them? You know, it's it, it, even like answers like these, you want help, you want someone to to help you, guide you, give you ans basic answers to things, so you can start learning from it. You start building your network around that and all that, right? So that's 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 definitely you know, uh, it definitely helps in getting getting through that. I remember like you know one of the VC partnership meetings I was presenting to, which was uh, so one of the partners asked me like you know I was presenting for one of the rounds, the fall like our three C round, and this partner. Who, uh, they are very uh, senior partner there. He said, so uh, does, does everything feel right to you? That every, does everything seem running smoothly to you? And I was like, you know, it's like you're presenting to a VC partner, you are, you know, you're asking for a lot of money, you're, uh, so you, your first instinct is to say, yes, everything seems, everything is smooth, don't worry about anything, <laughs> right? So I was like, no, I, it's like, it's not, everything is not smooth, it's, and that's what, that's, uh, and that's what he told me, which I really, that, that's the feeling you should have. Like if everything seems smooth, you're not driving it fast enough. So if you want to operate a high growth company, it's the, the job of the, the CEO is to drive it fast enough that it doesn't get off the road, right? So that's, but if you drive it too slow, that's a problem also. So it's, yeah, and so I'll, maybe I'll name the guy, this guy, Reed Hoffman, uh, founder of uh, LinkedIn. Uh, so he, his partner at Greylock now, I, I thought that was a very good advice to just keep it always, uh, you know, in your head. Like, you know, it's like the a lot of stress comes from because you're looking for perfection. You're looking for everything to be right. Once you start internalizing it that it's all right, it's not going to be all right. It's not going to be everything. Be nothing is going to be perfect always. Uh, it gets you at more mental peace. And when you hear it from like, you know, everyone else has gone through that. So that's, that makes you even more, uh, uh, more at peace.